Hey everybody, welcome. We're looking today at the uh, papaya tree that I have. It's called TR Hovi. This is a really, really, really nice papaya tree. It's loaded with fruit. Uh, the fruit here on the right side um, are actually seedless. The majority of the time they have no seeds. The ones in the back are, well, normal papayas and they've got seed. They both taste good. Both of them are good. Uh, in any event, if you look up, you can see this is pretty big. Uh, it's probably 11 feet up in the air at this point, and it is also a double, if you look down at the ground here, it's a double, and that's the way it came. They came together like that. Now, what I've done here is something kind of cool. If I'll focus in over here, I did an air layer on a papaya tree. And if you look carefully here, you can see how the roots there it is. are coming along. I uh, set up a frame on the papaya so that I can go ahead and uh, get those roots air layered in there in a, this is a seven gallon pot. This is kind of crazy because um, I wanted to put between these two pieces of wood that I'm using as a support, I wanted to put two clamps here or two bolts but I, I I didn't want to go out to Home Depot and look for it so I did a kind of a crazy thing and I hope it's not gonna mess everything up I think it'll be fine but I did drill into the tree so I put two tap cons in here through the wood also on the opposite side and then this way it's uh, supporting the 15 gallon I'm sorry the 7 gallon container and I filled it up with Pro Mix after removing all of the uh, uh, plastic wrap that was on there and the aluminum foil and then I had to cut this pot as you can see I cut it pretty pretty wide in the front pretty wide cut and then I used this is a uh, material that's like uh, they use it for roofing and they use it for windows it's like a flashing material so I used that to kind of wrap around the entire pot to hold it together and then I secured the plastic pot on the front edges with uh, some screws down into the wood. So uh, the idea is that it is the end of October and I know we're going into a much cooler season. So I'm a little worried that the cold weather is gonna cause a problem. Uh, and again, I didn't like having to put those drill holes through the tree with the, uh, with the tap cons, but we'll learn, we'll learn from this. Hopefully it won't kill the tree, it won't catch an infection, it'll be okay. But normally, that's not a good idea to do that. So I've never really done it before, so it's a learning experience for me, for sure. The roots were really well developed in there, and um, we shall see. I'll keep you guys posted. Most likely, this is not going to be removed until probably the end of December. And by then, hopefully that tree is very well rooted, and I'll show you guys the results. Take care.